So let's have a quick look at the tests we need to use uh, for proving that triangles are congruent. Uh, first of all, what, is, what are congruent triangles? Well, they're the ones that are identical. So the exact same shape and the exact same size. So what are the tests? There are a couple of tests we want to use. Uh, the first one is side, side, side. So that's where the three sides of a triangle are equal to three sides of another triangle. And that's fair enough um, that they'd be congruent or identical. And we're going to abbreviate that to SSS. Uh, the next one is called side angle side. So that's where two sides and the included angle are equal to two sides and the included angle of another one. And the important thing is this guy here, that they have the included angle, so the one in between. So you look at this triangle here and you realize, okay, um, given that these two sides um, are equal, but this angle in between the two sides is equal. And that's important because if you have something like this, um, where you can see that you're given two sides and another angle, you realize, hey, hang on, well, that's not the one in between. The one in between is this guy here. That's what you really want. And so this is bad. You can't use side angle side for um, these two triangles here. And there's a reason for that, but I'll save that for another time. Uh, the next one, angle angle side. And this is where two angles and one side of a triangle are equal to two angles of another. Two sides and another side of another. Um, and in this one, order doesn't matter. And so you can have uh, two angles here and two angles here, but that side, that can be anywhere. So there's no restriction on that one. Last one, uh, right angle hypotenuse side. So when you have um, two right angle triangles and they have the hypotenuse and another side equal, uh, then they're congruent. And you can see you have that here, you've got a side, a side that's equal. And you also have the hypotenuse, that's equal. Now, you just want to be careful with this one because you might want to say, oh, okay, so anytime I can see a right angle, then I know I can use RHS. Uh, yes and no. If you look at this one underneath, um, you've got that right angle there. But what sides do you have? You've got these two <clears throat> that are equal. But your hypotenuse, you're not told, um, you're not given that it's equal. And you could probably prove that it is using Pythagoras or something. But first thing you want to think about is, well, where is this angle? Well, this angle is actually in between the two sides, so I could use my SAS proof for that one. You just want to be careful um, yeah, when you jump into a question, just actually look at what they've given you and see what information you have that you can use. Okay, so how do we actually do the formal proof? Um, and this is one of the cases where math and English uh, are good friends. We want to use a similar structure um, as like a mini essay. So if you're an intro, um, you got a body, that's where you're going to give your reasons, and you've got a conclusion to summarize it up, and that's where you put your tests. So, how do we, um, I guess, introduce our triangles? All we do is we say, in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, those are the two triangles we have, and you want to think about, okay, what information am I given here? Well, I'm given that um, I've, I've got three sides, and I'm given that, that they're equal to their corresponding ones. So I want to start off by saying, okay, well, AB is equal to PQ. Why is that? Well, because they've given it to me. They've got those marks there. What else do I know is equal? I've got BC is equal to QR. That's given. And I've got AC equals to PR. That's given. Okay, and here, now this is important, I want to summarize, I want to tell them the reason why I know they're congruent. Um, I've got three sides um, that are equal to the three sides of another, and so therefore triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. And that's what these three lines here mean, that means that they're congruent, and I need to put my tests, so that's SSS. Okay, and that's the structure you want to use for all your formal congruent proofs, you want to have your intro, have your reasons, and then finish off with your tests. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the other three. So side angle side. So I think about, okay, uh, what are my two triangles? It's going to be my intro now. So in triangle ABC and triangle LMN. All right, what information do I know? Well, I know that AB equals to LM. That's given. 
I know um, this angle here and this angle here are equal. So how do I refer to that? Well, I say angle BAC equals to angle MLN. And that's because the one I'm talking about is the one in the middle. So that's how I refer to my angles. And that's given. And um, my last side, AC, is equal to LN. And so how do I finish off? Well, I finish off by saying, okay, so my triangle is ABC and LMN. They're congruent. What's my reason? Well, I used SAS. Okay, angle, angle side. So um, this one again, you want to look at the information you're given. You've got your two angles that are equal and your corresponding sides. So uh, again, start off with the intro, ABC equals to um, KLM. And what do you know that's equal? I know that angle BAC is equal to angle LKM. Yeah, what else do I know? I know oh, ACB equals to KML. And um, my last thing I want to talk about, I know that AB is equal to KL. So I can finish off triangle ABC is congruent to triangle KLM. Cool. Last but not least, our right angle hypotenuse side. So, okay, my two triangles in, I've got ABC and EFD. And then, okay, first thing I know is, I know that there's a right angle here, and I know that they're equal, so I can just refer to that. I've got angle, uh, say, ABC equals to angle EFD equals to 90 degrees. I know that angle, uh, not angle, sorry. I know that my side uh, BC equals to FD. And lastly, I know that AC equals to ED. Those are all my reasons. And finish it off, I know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle EFD. Sweet. And something you might not have noticed, but that I've been doing is for the formal proofs, there are a couple of little tips. You want to refer to matching vertices. So you want to, um, when you're referring to triangles, you want to make sure that um, when you have your intro and your conclusion that um, triangle ABC, well, those um, vertices or corners are matching to the other one you're referring to. So you can see that um, because these two are equal and these two are equal, that um, A, B, and D, E are referring to each other. And, um, and because these two are equal and these two are equal, then B, C, and E, F, well, that's the layout of the triangle. A, B, C is the same as D, E, F in that order. Okay, so that these corners or vertices are matching. Um, and just something that's good practice as well, keep the reasons for each triangle aligned. So if I go back to this one here, um, when I talk about uh, this triangle here, all my reasons are on this side, this left side. And when I talk about all the reasons for this triangle here, all the reasons are on this side. So just a couple of tips for um, congruent triangles.